Her whole life was really difficult, and, and having those strikes against her at the time, it's amazing that she still wrote what she wrote. She's an Arkansan. Uh, she's a female composer, African-American composer. She grew up in the South. She did go to school on the East Coast, but uh, at conservatory, she put on her form that she was from Mexico. She was Mexican, because she knew she wouldn't you know, be allowed. Um, and any, any little successes she had had to do with um, government programs, like the WPA program, which was developed uh, in the United States to help people uh, find work during the Depression era. They, they even had involvement for composers. But to try to be a composer who really wasn't able to find work because of her, you know, her race and to have young children, it was really rough. You know, she ultimately died, uh, you know, not well known. She's a very uh, unique composer. There is that, that tradition, that uh, uh, European um, symphonic tradition that she uh, was schooled in, but she's very influenced by the blues, uh, by uh, church music, by uh, like uh, the music at revival meetings, which is kind of church meetings at black churches. She loved spirituals. She loved uh, slave songs, and that all gets incorporated into her music. And it's, it, you know, it, it's very much, you know, the American experience, I think you can hear in her music, the, the Southern experience. She loves the clarinet. You'll find in her orchestral works, there's always a prominence for the clarinet, and that's probably a jazz influence. Um, she almost always includes celesta, even if it's only a couple of notes. She always includes a harp, but sometimes it's only just a few notes. I think it's overall a very traditional approach as far as orchestration and that sort of thing. That's from her schooling. She does like her dissonances. She does like, she uses a lot of uh, a jazz and blues chords, a seventh chords, a ninth chords, 11th chords. I came across a 15th chord in one of her symphonies. She has this way of uh, writing interesting lower parts and melodic material. But what's in the middle, it, it comes across very spontaneous. I'm gonna do this here, I'm gonna do this here. And it all works well. My experience with the music of Florence Price is people love her music. They just immediately say, oh, this is really interesting, this is really beautiful, and I think it's, uh, I think people are really going to like what they have to hear. Mm -hmm.